So now we're going to graph the inverse of f of x is equal to 5x minus 1 over negative x plus 2. We're going to find its domain range and we're going to find the 0. So first, we're going to copy f of x is equal to 5x minus 1 over negative x plus 2. We're going to get the inverse. So we'll change this to y. Ang f of x palita ng y. Next, ang y at saka x ipagpalit. So, we're going to interchange y and x. So, the y would become x and the, y, the x would become y. Negative y plus 2. Next, cross multiply x times negative y plus 2 is equal to 5y minus 1. So, it, you're going to distribute now x, negative xy, x times negative y is negative xy, x times 2x, x times 2 is positive 2x, is equal to copy 5y minus 1. Next, lahat ng may y, ilipat doon sa kabila, lahat ng may walang y dito sa kabila, sa left side. So, sa right side pala. So, sa left side, may y, negative x y kasi may y siya ito wala siyang y so ilipat doon sa kabila positive magiging negative ito may y siya so ilipat doon sa kabila magiging negative 5y is equal to negative 2x minus 1 hindi, hindi siya ilipat doon kasi wala siyang y next you're going to find the common ang y ilabas ang y so kung ilabas mong y ano na lang natira negative x minus Kung kunin mong y, ang tatira is negative 5 is equal to, close, negative 2x minus 1. Para y na lang matira dito, you're going to divide both sides by negative x minus 5. If what is inside the parenthesis, negative x minus 5. So cancel. y is equal to negative 2x minus 1 over negative x minus 5. You can rewrite this as like this. Ibig sabihin nito, this is the inverse of this function. Negative 2x minus 1 over negative x minus 5. There's a fly. So next, this is the function that we're going to use. So, we're going to rewrite it. If negative x minus 5. So, we're going to graph now this. As you can see, this is a rational function. And as we graph rational function, we're going to identify the HA and the VA. We're going to identify first the VA because it's easier. VA is negative x minus 5 equal to 0. Ang denominator, equal mo lang sa 0. So negative x minus 5, ilipat mo si negative 5 sa kabila. Negative x is equal to Negative magiging positive. Kailangan na positive dito. Walang negative. So, divide both sides by negative 1. Para makancel sa negative, matira na lang si x. 5 divided by negative 1 is negative 5. So, this is the vertical asymptote. Ibig sabihin, this is x5. Ibig sabihin, ang graph, hindi dadaan sa this part. Next, the horizontal asymptote. The horizontal asymptote, as you could remember, there are three rules. You're going to identify the degree in the numerator and the degree in the denominator. The degree here is 1. Ang pinakamataas na exponent is 1. Sa numerator, sa denominator, 1. So, ibig sabihin, si 1 as a 1 ay equal. So, kapag equal ang degree, y is equal to a, b. Si a, yung katabi nito, katabi ng may x, Si negative 2. Ang katabi ng may highest exponent, si Wala siyang katabi, di ba? If walang katabi, that's understandable. It's there's 1. So, negative 1. So, ang katabi ni x is negative 1. So, y is equal to negative 2 divided by negative 1. That's positive 2. So, y is equal to positive 2. That, this is the horizontal Asymptote. And as you could also remember, we're going to identify three points na dito sa kabila. We're going to have negative 6, 
negative 7 at saka negative 10. Dito rin sa kabila ni, ni vertical asymptote, we're going to use negative 3, si 0, at saka si 2. Uh, as you could also remember na you could choose any number that you like as long as nandito sa kabila, nandito rin sa kabila. But for this, we're going to use x, y, si negative 10, si negative 7, si negative 6, si negative 3, Para sa kabila, si negative 3, 0, at saka si 2. We're going to let x be first. Is let x be negative 10. So, y is equal to negative 2x minus 1 over negative x minus 5. Just copy. So, si, neg si x magiging negative 10. So, negative 2 times negative 10 minus 1 over negative si x magiging negative 10 minus 1. Negative times negative, that's positive. 2 times 10 is 20 minus 1 over negative negative, positive, minus, minus 5 pala, minus 5. Minus 5 is equal to 19 over 5, which is equal to 3 point. 3.8 and as I solve this nung pag solve ko nito the answer is 6.5 if it is negative 6 that's 11 if it is negative 3 that's negative 2.5 kapag 0 0 0.2 kung ganitong gagawin mo palitan mo ang x ng 0 the answer is 0 0.2 if it is 2 we'll go to solve that so let x be equal to 2 so, y is equal to negative 2, ang x, palitan mo ng 2, minus 1 over negative 2 minus 5. So, negative times ne positive, negative 2 times positive 2, it's negative 4 minus 1 over negative 2 minus 5, negative 7. So, negative 4 minus 1, negative 5 over negative 7. If you divide this, the answer is 0 0.71. 0 0.71. So, we're going to graph now. Kapang negative 10, that's 3.8. So, malapit lang sa 4. Kapag negative 7, 6.5. So, between 6 and 7. Kapag negative 6, negative 6, it's 11. So, connect. Ganito ang graph. In this side. In this side naman, negative 3, it's 2.5. Negative 2.5. Kapag 0, that's 0 0.2. If it is 2, 0 0.71. So, as you can see, ganito rin ang graph. So, ganyan ang graph. So this is the graph. We're done with the graphing now. We're going to identify the domain and the range. What is the domain? What is the range? The domain here, as you could remember, is titing na mo yung vertical asymptote. So x, it's excluding x equals to 5. So x such that x is not equal to negative 5. The range Titignan mo naman is yung horizontal asymptote. So, y such that y, instead na equal, gawin mong not equal to 2. Kasi hindi siya dumaan dito sa 2. So, we're done with A. Letter B, find the 0. So, we're going to find the 0 dito siya. So, saan siya dumaan sa y? Sa x-axis. So, x-axis pala. So, dito siya dumaan. So, you could, it's probably, because we could not really identify kung saan siya dyan. Probably, ano to siya? Sa x, one half sa x, or one third, or so on. Four over five. So, to solve that, actually, in ganito lang gagawin. Kopihin yung numerator. This is for letter B. The zeros. Kopihin mo numerator. Negative 2x minus 1. Equate mo sa zero. So, si negative 2x, may i-1 siya, ilipat mo si 1. Si negative, magiging positive, 
divide both sides by negative 2. So x cancel equal to negative 1 half. So we can plus so negative 1 half plus or negative 0 0.5. And that's the 0.